Hi there, welcome back to your math workshop for today. So we're going to try working on something a little bit new. Um, when you worked on multiplication in your last multiplication unit, you talked a lot about, we talked a lot about using what you already know in order to help you solve harder problems. You practiced and learned the multiplication facts. Um, and you thought about the way arrays, pictures, and stories can help you visualize what's happening in a problem. So I want you to keep all of that in mind as you're working on these new harder problems. Okay, so let's take a look at our uh, story problem for today. Miss Smith's class participated in a relay race. There were four runners on each relay team. How many runners were on 14 teams? Okay. So I to think about that for just a moment. Think about how you might solve this in order to get your answer. All right, so I want to first think, well, what equation could we write for this? So we know that we're working on a multiplication problem here. So there were four runners on each relay team. How many runners were on 14 teams? So we know that there were four runners and then there are 14 teams, so we need to know how many runners there were all together. So there are four runners on each team. There are 14 teams. We need to know how many runners are there all together on each team. All right, so what do we know in this problem and what are we trying to figure out? So we, we know the number and the size of the groups. So we know the number of the people, uh, number of groups and then the size of each group right so there's 14 groups and we know how many people are in each group but we don't know how many people there are all together so i want us to solve this problem by drawing a quick sketch so one way that i might i might do this because i know that 14 is seven and seven and this is a problem that i know a multiplication problem i know because i know seven times four so i'm going to say I'm going to start off by drawing seven teams to start. And then I'm going to put my four runners in each team. All right, so I have seven teams and then four runners in each team. I don't know if you can see my runners here. They're awfully small. All right. Hopefully you can see them. So let's look here. So we know that there are 14 teams all together, but I thought, you know what? Seven is a much easier equation for me to do because I already know seven times four. Seven times four is equal to 28. So how can that help me solve this problem then? What do I need to do next? Yeah, so I just need to do another seven, right? So I have seven here and I need to do another group of seven. So let me think of an equation that I've written where I can solve this. I could say, well, I know that seven times four is equal to 28. So, I'm, but I need another seven times four, right? Because it's 14 times four altogether. So I know that this one's 28, so this must be 20. So then what is my answer? I need to add these two together, right? I have 56. So I now know that four times 14 is 56. I broke this number up and I used an equation that I already knew to help me, right? Okay, so I could do this one other way. There's one other way that I might do this. So I'm gonna say, Let's look here. All right. So I, I'm going to still break this up, but I'm going to break it up a little bit differently because I know that I know what a 10 times 4 is. So I'm going to start off with 10 groups of 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Each of these, remember, has four runners in each group.
And remember, I said I knew that 4 times 10, so I broke up my 14 into 10 and 4. 4 times 10 is equal to 40. I knew that one already. But what do I need to do still? I've already done my 10, but I still have four more groups that I need to figure out, right? So I need to still do four more groups. All right, and I could write this equation by saying four, four groups of four people in each group. Do you know that's that fact? Yeah, it's 16. So then how do I get my answer? Where is my answer? Yeah, it's my 40 plus 16 gets me to 56. Okay, beautiful. So you're gonna solve some problems just like this. So actually, I could say that, or I could say 10. I wanna keep, keep it like this, 10 times four plus four times four equal to 56, right? Okay, so you're gonna solve some more problems like this. And um, as you solve the problem, I want you to use what you know about breaking up numbers to help you solve these more challenging equations. Okay, be sure to write an equation and then draw out a little sketch to help you. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you next time.